Steel is a metal alloy widely used in construction owing to its strength, affordability and hardness. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the steel, an alloy, of iron, and types of commonly used structural steel sections. Depending upon physical property and chemical contain, steel can be classified into different type. 1. Mild steel. It consists major proportion of ions, say 98% combined with less than 0.05 to 0.25% carbon. 2. Stainless steel. It contains less than 1.2% of carbon content, and is corrosion and oxidation resistant. 3. Alloy steel. It is the mixture of additional elements, such as manganese, chromium, nickel, with carbon containers, 0.1 to 1% depending on type. Too little carbon content leaves, pure iron quite soft, ductile, and weak. The addition of very small amount of carbon, that is up to 2% in iron, changes steel's properties. It increases hardness and strength. It decreases weldability and ductility. Steel mill produce variety of products in which basic producers are plates, bars, and sections such as I-beams, channels, and angles. Basic for common types of steel. Number 1. Mild steel is a type of carbon steel with a low amount of carbon. It is actually also known as low carbon steel. 90% of steel used is mild steel. It can be widely used in automobiles, construction, and heavy engineering industries. It is stiff, strong, and has magnetic properties. The only disadvantage is, it is highly corrosive. 2. Stainless steel, commonly called SS. Stainless steel is a steel alloy with increased corrosion resistance compared to carbon and other alloy steel. When nearly 11% of chromium is added to carbon steel, it will become stainless steel. It does not corrode and stain, and is available in different grades, such as 301, 316. And, it is commonly used in medical instruments, hardware, and food industry. It is a metal structure fabricated with steel. When a building is made from the organized combination of structure steel members and members are designed to carry loads and provide adequate rigidity, it is called as structural steel building. The steel building is very stiff in respect to their cross-section area, and can also support a high load without excessive sagging. It does not easily deform, buckle, twist or bend, and is therefore easy to modify. Steel buildings have been widely accepted, due to cost efficiency. Another advantage of steel as compared to RCC is that, a larger span building can be constructed. Hence, it is widely used in bridges. Steel is extremely versatile and can be molded to many different shapes. The design engineer chooses different sections as per their requirement. There are some common sections which are available in markets and approved by Indian standards as shown. The most commonly used sections for heavy loading are I or H members. They are very stiff in respect to their cross-sectional area and can support a high load without excessive sagging. I steel beam. As the name states, the cross section looks like I character. The vertical member shown is called web and the two horizontal members are called flange. The Bureau of Indian Standards have classified hot rolled section beam into various types like ISLB, stands for Indian Standard Lightweight Rolled Steel. ISMB, Indian Standard Medium Weight Beams. ISHB Heavy Weight Beams and ISWB for wide flange beam. Structural section, T. The T beam is best utilized as a load bearing beams, which allows large loads to be carried. 
The top of the T-shaped cross section serves as a flange or compression member in resisting compressive stresses, while the web, the vertical section of the beam serves to resist shear stress. Angle sections. They are of L-shaped. They have two legs that come together at a 90 degree angle. They are commonly available in two types, equal angles and unequal angles. It has the advantage of being easier to join since the 90 degrees angle gives more degrees of freedom and are generally used for roof trusses and fencing. Structural sections plates. They are manufactured by high quality basic material. These are available with thickness 5 mm to 50 mm, width 1.5 to 3 m, and length 6 to 12 m. They are generally used to connect built up girders, beams, and columns, and also used as tension members of steel roof trusses and base plates. Rods, also called as bars. Steel bars have a diverse range of applications in a variety of industries according to the shape and size their uses depends. They are categorized in two types, mild steel bars and deformed steel bars. The mild steel bars are having plain surface without ridges, and are round in section, have diameter from 6 to 50 mm, which are used for insert of lugs and as dowels. The deformed bars are called, TMT. They are used for providing reinforcement in RCC structures. Thermomechanically treated bars, TMT, bars. They are manufactured with a specific technique, to create soft core and tough exterior in the rib bars. This technique allows the bars to gain more yield strength and the elongation is enhanced in the products. TMT bars are used for strong concrete reinforcements in bridges high-rise buildings, dams, etc. that require highly tensile and dynamic foundation setup. Most construction projects require the use of hundreds of different materials. In terms of a load-bearing structural frame, they will generally consist of structural steel or concrete. Cost, weight, strength, constructability, availability sustainability, corrosion, and fire resistance will be taken into account before a final decision is made about which material to use. As we see the tallest structures today are constructed using structural steel due to its constructability, as well as its high strength to weight ratio.